Well, I accidentally, I was looking for gravel to backfill my uh, my basement wall. Okay. Couldn't get to the gravel pit, you know, with the grain fields here. So I decided to find a place myself and dig for it. And I ran into bones, human bones. Call in authorities. They came in and uh, determined they were human bones and they were uh, very old. Probably Native they, American, right? Two were Native, but there's something else interesting in this equation. We found one guy in there that his bones were huge, and they even commented that it was unusually large male individual. Did the state archaeologists come out then? The uh, state archaeologists got involved, and the dynamic was totally different. They were, uh, they wanted to get this thing buried as fast as possible. Really? When you talk about big bones and, and a big, what you think is a big male, this is reminiscent of uh, giants. I have something I want to show you here. It's, it's an article that talks about giants. And that was published in uh, the St. Paul paper in uh, 1888. And it says, a prehistoric race, seven gigantic bodies exhumed while digging a well near Clearwater, Minnesota. A race of giants, and they talk about them being seven to eight feet tall. Could your guy be that big? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're in the same category. I've been studying the Norse for years and uh, what they do and the burial mound system. All this is Norse technology and I told them that. Okay, Roger, so where is this mound? The mounds are just on the other side of the cornfield, right on the edge of the Coon Creek. Okay, well I'm anxious to go take Let's a look. Let's do it, need your help. That's where the big guy is buried. Right here, okay. Right there. His feet are about approximately right down here in this area. His head is located way up here by where that stone, that marker is. Roger, let's measure this. Take that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's about eight, eight to nine feet long. I'd say eight, six. That's a big guy. Wow. Digging here, you find bones. The state representative for the Native Americans comes out. An anthropologist for the state comes out. Yeah. And then what happened? They well, start digging? They, well, they started doing the archaeological dig. And their eyes got big because this guy's, this guy's bones, I, I tore his feet off. And I tore the shoulders and rib cage of uh, two of these Native girls that were shoved up against his feet. The anthropologist said these are females, they, right? They were native, female, they're a little petite, and they're in the fetal position, you know, with their hands over their face. Okay. Did they say yeah. that this was a giant, or they thought it could be, or what, what exactly did they say? Very, very large male. Well out of the ordinary. There was a lot of these guys around, but uh, kept quiet, I don't know why. But uh, mm. this, this guy was covered up as fast as he could, too. So it seemed bizarre to you. There was Very something bizarre. not right about it. Very okay. bizarre, yes. Well, based on everything that I've heard so far, what it sounds like to me is you're, you're suggesting there's a cover-up going on here. It's, I, I don't see any where, why or reason why there is not a cover-up. I mean, it's so obvious that you got an eight-foot guy sitting there. Roger, you mentioned that the, uh, the big guy was eight feet long. Yep. Obviously, if there's something here, you've got what appears to be a giant, and if it's a giant, it can't be Native American, it must be somebody else, maybe Norse, and if so, then there should be some other related artifacts. There's got to be something else here. We can't dig here, right? Absolutely not. You've no disturbance here whatsoever. Okay. 